Morning, everybody. Welcome to Malibu. And uh, I love the chance to drive a classic, uh, especially something as pretty as this BMW 2002 uh, restored by the team at Clarion Builds. Clarion, of course, the stereo company. And the reason I like them is not only because they make good stereos, but because they have this team called Clarion Builds, and their whole purpose is to build project cars and because they have a corporate budget behind them and they give a uh, they give a shit about driving uh, they build them uh, properly from what I can see so this 2002 is uh, is just beautiful it's been fully restored by the team uh, Coop Kings uh, down in Long Beach uh, amazing BMW restoration shop they did the body and the interior they've swapped the interior for this luxe package which was only available in Europe uh, leather and all perforated Alcantara and the Nardi wheel it's, it's just gorgeous and uh, the engine is the standard M10 engine, but it's been beefed up with some, uh, some go-fast parts from Ireland Engineering, custom header, Weber carbs, full Magnaflow exhaust. Uh, it has a five speed from uh, an early three series. It sounds awesome. Uh, and it has period BBS wheels, four piston Willwood brakes, and uh, I've actually driven this thing on the racetrack for a drive film, which you will, may see soon. But I wanted, uh, I wanted to get the full vibe of it, and to do that, you gotta drive it on the road, because on the racetrack, you know, even though this thing is great fun, you're still talking about a 150 horsepower, uh, 2,000 pound car. And so the racetrack is a big place and I figured this thing would really be at home on the road. So here we are. And it's, it's really fun actually. The, the greenhouse is so big, the visibility is so good. It's nice and small, very light. So windy out here that we get blown around a little bit. And, uh, and this thing held up to a full track day's worth of abuse, which for a, a 40 year old car is, is simply amazing. It's got real brakes, the Willwood brakes, four piston in all four corners. Uh, it's got real tires, uh, Toyo Proxy's tires on it. Pedals are great, they're floor hinged, uh, but it's really easy to uh, to heel toe and, and, and they're in great position. The shifter is uh, vintage-y feeling, but very nice. Clutch is super easy. 5,000, 6,000, yes. This is a, a wonderful vintage motoring experience. And see, when you, your mindset changes, when you're at a racetrack, you go, I need to make this thing go as fast as it will go. But that's not what the 2002 inspires me to do. It inspires me to drive like six, seven tenths on a road like this and, and use this big greenhouse to enjoy the beautiful scenery all around us. Ah, uh, rocks. That was like my Fetty Wap. Yeah, baby. Great sounding motor. It's got a lot more brakes than it does power, which I really like. Uh, rocks in the road. Whee! Oh, it's you can. It, it's got the, the BMW feel for sure. The engine's got is a little. I don't know. It's got a little grindy sound. It's a little agricultural. It's not as magnificent as some of the silky smooth sixes of the newer BMWs, but you hear the wind noise? Oh my god, it's probably blowing like 40 miles an hour. Uh, the brakes are 
brakes are so good it like throws me into the seatbelt. You kind of have to load it up and then wait for it to settle and then really turn into the corner. Uh, for the suspension, it has Coney shocks and struts. It's been lowered a little bit from stock ride height, but performance oriented, not stance oriented, which we love. It really likes to rev though. I mean, right now, it's very happy at four, five, six thousand RPM. As we go downhill, the gravity assist does help us out. Oh, it's a beautiful car. And these, these Lux seats, very comfortable, but also sort of bench-like and not, uh, they don't really hold me in so well at the corners. There's a lot of, a lot of bracing yourself against the door. well doesn't really get too upset by uh, by a bump in the road oh this thing's a riot let's flip back up see downhill with the gravity assist you know it's not indicative really of the of the actual performance of the vehicle because well gravity no power steering but great turning radius there we go. Full throttle, on power. Yeah. It's comfortable in here for me too. I'd like to take this thing to Pebble Beach. A little road trip action. It's got a nice big trunk that is currently uh, got a bump and clarion system in it. It looks dope, but he actually told me it's a fairly consumer-grade system. I'd love to demonstrate it for you, but we don't have any music rights, so there's there's no point to doing that. I, I'm holding full throttle, third gear. Still holding. Still holding. If you, if you want to combine acceleration with uphill progress, your only real option is second or third gear full throttle. But what I do love about this car is it, it really is built for driving. It's very pretty, it looks very good, it's very finished. And the guys at Coop Kings will be modest about it. And they'll, They'll say, oh, you know, we had to finish it in six months, and normally it takes a year, but, I mean, it's it's gorgeous to look at. But it takes a beating, man. I'm, I'm, I'm not going super light on this thing right now. A lot of full throttle happening. On the floorboard. <laughs> the wind is trying to blow me off the cliff at the moment. And since the car only weighs 2,000 pounds and is about as aerodynamic as a cinder block, more likely than not. Still full throttle. And see, now that's third, so if I go to fourth, Full throttle uphill and forth, it'll maintain, it won't accelerate. I don't know, maybe you're a full throttle guy. Maybe you want a car where it's like cruise control, you just go flat and that's it. That's what this is. But for a car of this vintage, dynamics are really, really good. It drives just very predictably. And it feels just old enough and just new enough at the same time. But 
Like it's a, it's certainly a vintage motoring experience, but it doesn't feel fragile. That's my problem with a lot of the older cars, is they feel really fragile. I know after the track day with this, that this car is not fragile, and you can hammer on it really, really good. The floor hinge pedals are, are a really neat, vintage -y thing. They take some getting used to, but you have to move your foot in a different way. You know you're doing something that's different. seconds of flat in fourth gear. Oh, I like this car so much. It makes me want to go for a cruise. It's, it inspires me to want to go out and drive. And that's, that's what you're looking for with any car, really. Fast car, slow car. I mean, I've driven fast cars before that are fun for a few minutes but but that I also kind of want no part of afterwards this is a slow car that I want to spend all day in and that's really nice can I clear it's got good clearance it's got good clearance all right one last one on the way back I'm changing my mind. It doesn't, I, 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 the more I listen to it, the more I like how it sounds, actually. I think it sounds good. It's not as good as a six, but for a little carbureted four-cylinder, very nice. Yeah. And when you think about what us Americans were building in this time period, I mean, you know, it's, it's like the, the M2 today. Or something like that. It's a finesse machine. It's 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 uh oh, and there go the wipers. It is a uh, oh, it's a finesse machine as the wiper blade breaks off on my mount. And we have to end the video on a depressing note. Sorry, <laughs> this was great. Thank you so much for uh, for having me, Clarion guys. I'm sorry about your wiper. It hit my suction cup. We'll fix it. I, I think I owe him a wiper blade. Yes, that just happened. See you later.